Welcome to Avatar Technology Digest. We provide you with the latest news on technology, medical cybernetics and artificial intelligence the best way we can. Here are the top stories of the last week. The biotechnology startup Aditus Medicine intends to begin tests of a powerful new form of gene repair in humans within two years. The company hopes to start a clinical trial in 2017 to treat a rare form of blindness using CRISPR, a groundbreaking gene editing technology. CRISPR technology was invented just three years ago, but it is so precise and cheap to use, it has quickly spread through biology laboratories. Already scientists have used it to generate genetically engineered monkeys, and the technique has stirred debate over whether modified humans are next. Now they will try to treat one form of a rare eye disease called Labacongeniala marosis LCA, which affects the light receiving cells of the retina, since it has all the right characteristics in terms of making a correction easily. Scientists plan to deliver the CRISPR technology as a gene therapy. The treatment will involve injecting into the retina a soap of viruses loaded with the DNA instructions needed to manufacture the components of CRISPR, including a protein that can cut a gene at a precise location. In order to treat LCA, the company intends to delete about 1,000 DNA letters from a gene in a patient's photoreceptor cells. After the edit, pre-lab experiments show the gene should function correctly again. The approach needs to be tested further in the lab and in animals before a human study starts. Military service members can suffer brain injury and memory loss when exposed to explosions in enclosed spaces, even if they don't sustain overt physical injury. Now, two teams funded by the DARPA presented evidence that new implanted devices can improve a person's ability to retain memories. The US military, which is funding the research, hopes that the approach might help many of the thousands of soldiers who have developed deficits to their longer-term memory as a result of head trauma. A new strategy designed to improve memory by delivering brain stimulations through implanted electrodes in undergoing trials in humans. Short-term memories are thought to be created when a part of the brain called the hippocampus aggregates sensory information as well as the perception of space and time and holds it readily acceptable for a short while. Accessing the memory during that time will solidify it into a learned term memory. By mimicking the electrical patterns that create and store memories, the researchers found that gaps caused by brain injury can be bridged. The findings raise hopes that a newer prosthetic that automatically enhances flagging memory could aid not only brain-injured soldiers but also people who have had strokes, or even those who have lost some power of recall through normal aging. Key to this process is a signal that travels from one part of the hippocampus called CA3 to another called CA1. Researchers think that recreating that signal might restore the ability to solidify memories in people with damage to the hippocampus. Last week, the FDA for the first time approved a single treatment that can target cancer cells while leaving healthy ones alone and simultaneously stimulate the immune system to fight the cancer itself. The new cancer treatment strategy is on the horizon that experts say could be a game-changer. Cancer-hunting viruses have long been thought of as a potential source of a more human and targeted treatment for cancer. Unlike current oncological treatments, which kill cancer cells but also damage the rest of the body, viruses can be programmed to attack only the cancer cells, leaving patients to suffer the equivalent of just a day or two's flu. The treatment, which is called TVC, will be sold at around $65,000 under the brand name Mlogic, which uses a modified virus to hunt cancer cells in what experts said was an important and significant step in the battle against the deadly disease. Treatments such as Mlogic have two modes of action. First, the virus directly attacks the cancer cells, and second, it triggers the body's immune system to attack the rouge cells too once it detects the virus's presence. The team, based at the University of Manchester, has been developing liposomes, small bubble-like structures built out of cell membrane that are used as packages to deliver molecules into cells to carry drugs into cancer cells. The challenge, as with any treatment, is to direct the liposomes and their payload directly to tumors while sparing healthy tissue. 
Costas Costarellas, a professor of nanomedicine at the University of Manchester, states that temperature-sensitive liposomes have the potential to travel safely around the body while carrying your cancer drug of choice. Once they reach a hotspot of warmed-up cancer cell, the pin is effectively pulled and the drugs are released. This allows researchers to more effectively transport drugs to tumors and should reduce collateral damage to healthy cells. The thermal trigger is set to 42 degrees Celsius, which is just a few degrees warmer than normal body temperature. Although this work has only been done in the lab so far, there are a number of ways we could potentially heat cancer cells in patients depending on the tumor type, some of which are already in clinical use. These studies demonstrate for the first time how they can be built to include a temperature control, which could open up a range of new treatment avenues. This is still early work, but these liposomes could be an effective way of targeting treatment towards cancer cells while leaving healthy cells unharmed. Thank you for watching us. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. See you soon.